I always know you can change things. I've done it before. Everyone's talking about diversity and inclusion. That directly stems from the work that Beth Ann did. Without her, the opportunities wouldn't exist for me to do what I love. She's like a second mother to me. That one shining light of kindness. We're all students of Beth Ann Hardison. And I always say, just, you know, a hammock and a tequila, I'm good. You heard it first. <laughs> She's the godmother of fashion. When I saw it, I was the first black, black looking model on 7th Avenue. There was no people look like me. I knew the difference of segregation from childhood. These people thought that we were less. I let them know we are here. She realized she was the message. She represents this power. A lot of designers did not use models of color. No blacks, no ethnics. You don't know what it's like to be invisible. Where are the black girls? I saw the Black Girls Coalition. She moved our glamour and our good looks into the arena of activism. She's a game changer. She sacrificed a lot. My mother has enough ambition for the whole world. It's really hard as a single mom. I was scared to fail. She wants us to win more than anything. It gets a little challenging at times. But that's going to be part of your great story. I don't know who I think I am, but I do be trying. We want to provoke conversation. We want to provoke ideas. I'm not here to put anyone down. I'm here to bring everybody up. Beth Ann was able to unify us. She has changed the way beauty is defined. But I still want to do more things. Keep your hands. There are a lot of young people out there who really have something to say. And they come along like a tsunami. They come along as a wave. The game's not over. Once you meet this person, it's going to change your life. Let's shake it up. Whether you like it or not. <laughs>